Hello, welcome back to Doctor How. Today we're going to be fixing a few special effects in a story from Tom Baker's first season in Doctor Who. It's The Revenge of the Cybermen. There are a few issues with the special effects. For one, the planet Voga is shown on the scanner screen in grayscale in the early episodes, and then in later episodes it's in colour. So it'd be nice to replace the grayscale images with colour versions. This turns out to be quite easy. It's a simple matter of finding an appropriate shot from one of the later episodes. We want a shot of the planet which is slightly larger than the ones we're going to replace. Opening the image in GIMP, or some other photo editor, we can select a circle around the planet. By ensuring the image has a transparent background and an alpha channel, we can invert the selection and cut away the background. We can then paste this static image over the scanner screen in other shots. A second problem occurs early in episode 1. A message has been received from Voga, and the bridge officer Warner wants to log the incident. You can see that the visuals that appear are poorly framed on the chroma key screen. The text is actually being printed on a video screen too. I'm going to fix this by reconstructing the main screen image. First, I identified the region to be replaced. I've lined up the edges on 8 pixel boundaries to try to minimise MPEG artefacts. Fortunately, the actors' heads don't cross this boundary. I've painted over the region in yellow. There's a reason I've used yellow. Later in the scene, Warner is seen talking, and the screen is clearly yellow there in that shot. Now if we go into Inkscape, you can see we can type up the text here, and you can actually click on the text and you can spin it around, so we can actually rotate it a little bit to make it actually match the angle of the scanner screen a little bit better. And we can experiment with the font, we can try various things. Uh, and it actually turns out that it's important to blur the text a little bit. And you can see that we can actually adjust some controls here to blur the text slightly. And that just makes it feel a bit more naturally a part of the scene. So now it's a matter of typing out the text, one character per frame of video. It turns out that 25 characters per second is quite a readable speed. And there you have it. The final results work well enough. Thanks for watching Dr. Howe. Talk to you later. Bye.